Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Taz Olson here, and today I'm going to be giving a quick little guide that is going to be very beneficial to all you video makers out there with not so very high definition cameras or you know just standard definition cameras like 360, 480, which is about what a lot of people seem to have. And this is a quick, easy way to uh, smooth out your video file so it doesn't look as grainy. Um, so, and it also helps it look so much better. This is especially effective for indoor shots with bad lighting or less than perfect lighting because they can get pretty grainy. So I'll show you what I mean. Here, for what you're going to need, you're also going to need Sony Vegas 9.0 or over. You don't have to have Pro. Uh, I believe this comes with uh, the originals. It's not a plug-in either, so you're set for that. That's so what we do. Um, I got this quick little thing here um, if we put it into 16 by 9 you'll notice it is a little bit grainy so uh, in the video FX we go down to the bottom and the soft contrast and uh, soft moderate contrast is as simple as that add that to your file not only does it give it contrast which helps increase the detail uh, on your video, like I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, if I added curves, color curves, which is a method of increasing contrast, increase contrast, and uh, I use the classic here. Um, you'll notice it helps bring out definition, but it, uh, it it is with color curves a lot more effective on higher definition videos. Anyway. Uh, just the soft contrast one works great. You'll notice, you know, it really smooths out the rest of the video clip, and it doesn't look nearly as grainy as it did before. Um, you can see before, after, quite the difference. Uh, you can also mess around with the settings. You can increase the contrast, but um, then your black objects at 100%, they just get way too dark and you can't really find any definition in them. Um, yeah, soft moderate contrast, it really is that simple. Uh, it doesn't have a vinaigrette, although you can add one, of course. Uh, if you want, you can add a, like a blur vinaigrette, which is basically like a border. It will be blurred out. It could be black. It could be white. Or it could be transparent. Which transparent is uh, if there's a video clip underneath, you will see through it. Anyway, I'm going to go with none because it's so much easier. Vinaigrette, it's basically just working on the border. Uh, tint, we don't actually need a tint because, like, if you want to change it to a certain color a little bit, uh, you could. Uh, there's easier and more effective ways of doing that, though, with, even within Sony Vegas. So don't worry about the color correction or anything. Just work. Um, the trims, they're fine at zero because they don't really make a huge difference. Um... Of course, they're actually a lot better at uh, zero. Because if you notice, especially at the low trim, that is what softens it up. And also the diffusion, you probably want to keep that at about 15. Um, you could bring it to about 30 and that give you, you... It could be debated whether it's softer or not. But, uh, like, the base for soft moderate contrast is really effective and uh, I'll actually show it on this clip which is actually quite grainy uh, I used it for a recent video and uh, let's add our soft moderate contrast and it is it's still a very grainy clip unfortunately but uh, it does look a lot better uh, I got another one um, not that one I can add in, what is the next one, this would be it, this one, you'll notice it's pretty grainy, soft moderate contrast, so much different, so much smoother, uh, unfortunately it is an indoor shot with really bad lighting unfortunately, but it is quite a bit smoother and it's very noticeable and it's just overall helps it. Uh, if you want to blur it even more, you could always add a Gaussian blur, you know, probably a light blur, but that starts to take away from your actual quality, whereas contrast will actually help um, 
give the idea of increasing your contrast. Uh, like, alright, increasing your quality because it'll bring out the definition in certain things more. So, there's that. Simple, very easy, like, pretty much one-click guide on how to increase the, um, in like, soften up a video and make it not look so crappy if it is. Um, you pretty much need at least 360p for it, unfortunately, because uh, 240p, that's just not going to cut it. And you could get a better camera for, uh, about, like, 20 bucks. I'm not kidding either. Uh, 240p, that's just way behind, and at that point, you really should just upgrade. Anyway, until next time, my name is Tazzles, and signing off. Bye.